Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about engineering applications using MATLAB Simlink. Here, model-based design and simulation, and simulate a system before moving to hardware. Before you move um, hardware de de uh, deployment, you can simulate your simulate and test the system in Simlink by uh, engineering application using MATLAB Simlink. Here, what are the contents we are going to discuss? First, introduction to MATLAB Simlink and introduction to model-based design and the um, more number of areas not only with uh, um, uh, specified applications area MATLAB Simlink for wireless communications, MATLAB Simlink for power control design, MATLAB Simlink for control systems, MATLAB and Simlink for signal processing, MATLAB and Simlink for robotics, MATLAB and Simlink for automated driving systems, MATLAB and Simlink for image processing and computer vision, and MATLAB and Simlink for digital twins. Uh, this is an uh, advanced uh, area in my MATLAB also there. This is especially for IoT applications. First, uh, start with the introduction to MATLAB Simlink. Simulation and model-based design. Simlink is a block diagram environment for multi-domain simulation and model-based design. It supports a system level design, simulation, automatic code generation and continued test and verification of embedded systems. The Simlink provides a graphical editor, customizable block libraries and solvers uh, for modeling and simulating dynamic systems. It is integrated with MATLAB, the Simlink integrated with MATLAB enabling you to incorporate MATLAB algorithms into models and export simulation result in to MATLAB for further analysis. This is the advantage of MATLAB Simlink. So, uh, MATLAB script file means the textual programming. Simlink means is a block diagram environment for multi-domain application, multi-domain simulation and your model based design. Here there are several other add-on products are available in MathWorks. Also uh, third party hardware also, third party hardware and software products that are available for uh, use with Simlink. For example, the so many uh, 5G toolbox and uh, so many uh, vendors, device vendors and device types. You can use the different use vendors. For example, Admel, National Instruments. There are so many vendors are available there, and the vendors are provides the hardware support packages and software support packages. These are third parties called third party software and hardware. It is available in MATLAB Simlink only. By, by using this MATLAB Simlink, you can uh, add the hardware add the software you can uh, use, with, use with it and different type of applications for example if you go for the uh, digital processing applications means if um, uh, Texas instruments having Texas uh, vendors having the uh, exact model of hardware model of the device for example uh, uh, C6713 is a TMS processor available in DSP processor for digital signal processing of, uh, applications just you uh, get the hardware support packages and software support packages directly after uh, your design directly you can implement in real time hardware by using this simlink the following list uh, gives some a brief description of some systems uh, some of them first is state flow this is an important one the state flow uh, allowing develop developing state machines and flowcharts you can um, develop state machines and uh, where uh, in, in flowchart manner you can create there is a simulink coder also available here uh, allows the generation of C source code for real time implementation of systems automatically. If you once once you design the MATLAB uh, Simlink model directly, you can by using this MATLAB coder, uh, 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 MATLAB coder in you your uh, design with your Simlink design. This is a block diagram design to C source code. You can uh, get the C C code or C plus plus code or Visual C C plus plus code. There are some uh, drop in drop down list. There are options that are available if you have to convert in a Simlink model to C, C code means you can directly you can uh, uh, generate by using this Simlink coder. Here this is a PC target. Target, target means your real time simulation system. It is a XPC target together with 86 based class 86 based real time system provide an environment to simulate and test Simlink and state, state flow models in real time on the physical systems. So embedded coder supports the specific uh, embedded targets are here there are more, more number of coders are available here this is similar coder especially for generation of C code the embedded code especially generate for uh, embedded targets depending upon your uh, embedded uh, hardware you can uh, using this embedded coder 
and supports a specific embedded targets. Here HTL code are also there. In the HTL code automatically generate synthesizable VHTL and Verilog model. If once you design the model in similar MATLAB simile, directly you can generate automatically you can generate VHTL and Verilog within the second view. After once you design the model and simulate um, afterwards you can generate the code by using this simulink what is the advantage of this one means you can generate in your simulink model convert into c, c code or uh, vhdl code or via verila code depending upon your uh, also you can set the target also yes. here one of the additional benefit in matlab simulink is sim events there are so many uh, applications are there in matlab simulink for example sim uh, simscape um, sim electronics there are uh, some addition, additional toolbox are available here near sim events provides a library of graphical building blocks for modeling queuing system also there for example once you are using control system means the queuing model is important one queuing system is important one here by using sim events a library of uh, graphical building blocks for uh, modeling any type of queuing queuing systems here how to start the simulink starting the sim matlab simulink this is simulink is started from the matlab command prompt by entering the following command in this is uh, once you open this you can get the video like this this is your command window it shows a uh, workspace window current workspace window and current folder window and editor window this is our command window there are four once you open a matlab you will get four type of uh, windows are available here in, in this command window in this command window just you type simulink you will get this model here you can create blank model or blank library blank project here also you can create project also there by using the project you can uh, analyze the analyze your model you can create your uh, real, real time or um, desktop environment here folder to project open this one then um, alter, um, alternatively you can hit the simulink button here otherwise if you go for go with the menu the menu just you click 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 here this is the button is there a, in it is entitled, entitled in a simulink start page here if you click means you will get this window afterwards you click by blank model you will get the window like this once you click the blank model you have a new window will appear in this manner okay just after that you go to the library browser block here one 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 more uh, my browser icon is available here uh, in this LM um, icon the library what are the blocks available what are the toolbox available in MATLAB it shows for example simulink means here some commonly used blocks and continuous blocks dashboard sources and things by using that uh, if you click here means here the it is available here for commonly used blocks continuous these are uh, block sets on the Arduino library these are all the uh, block set what are the tools and uh, toolbox and uh, block sets available in MATLAB it shows just you click here means in this window you will get the corresponding blocks just you in this new model just to drag and drop you create your own design to create a new model click the new button here click the file new button uh, in the library browser in the toolbox is open the untitled window this you control n if you press control n means it, you will get one untitled new model here drag and drag, uh, drag and drag the uh, blocks you can create your own design like this how to start here uh, simply sinks and sources available here here sinks means the output output uh, blocks for example graphs it may be meters and all things if uh, sinks and source here and uh, the sine wave is available in sources block if you click sources block there are so many uh, inputs input uh, options are available it may be analog or digital sine wave arm sine wave square square wave and what is that wave or digital inputs is a scope is available in uh, sinks sink section if you click sinks sink means uh, digital uh, scope is available here uh, what is the beauty of this scope means if I, this is a one one uh, one input signal if you click the double click on that uh, scope uh, you can add add more number of inputs for example five number of inputs you have to analyze means you can give uh, you can uh, change the input parameters in scope just you, uh, you add add uh, a fine number of inputs okay then just in this manner you uh, here this is a sine wave block this is your scope block here one uh, block is available once you move the cursor on the sine wave block it, it shows some um, additional visualization in not in here uh, one um, error mark is available available here at the time of uh, system modeling just you go go with this one in the center means uh, automatically uh, 
if you just move to scope automatically it connects this is a, a design diagram procedure run the simulation by pressing this run button here one but run button is available here run button after 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 run double click on scope you will get the sine wave output output in this manner then in section of model based design how to create uh, model based design here here uh, one um, in a, in matlab new new model window in this menu new model window you can get, go to configuration parameters block at the time of a practical session we uh, briefly discuss this thing configuration parameters block here there are so many options are available here solver and, uh, and uh, code generation block and uh, simulation target and the hardware implementation block and model referencing blocks there are so, so many blocks are there just to see one by one uh, design and simulate your system in simulating before moving to hardware before you um, uh, implement with hardware you can test and uh, test the system test and uh, analyze your uh, design uh, these are uh, important benefit of uh, this matlab simulator explore and implement designs that you wouldn't otherwise consider without having to write c c plus plus or html code once you design um, uh, design your um, application in matlab means matlab simulating means uh, don't worry about to create write the program in c c plus plus or stl code we can generate automatically when you use matlab and simlink together we combine textual and graphical programming textual means you can for, for example if you open the matlab just to go to editor create new uh, new editor and uh, control n you press control n means it is a script file once you enter the uh, program in editor window here also uh, command line you, you can write the for small applications means you uh, you, you um, do with command line come matlab command and also if you have to uh, run the run the model you have if you have to implement the model in and uh, textual programming means you can write the program in textual manner if you have to do with block diagram environment if we are if we are going to use with the simulink means is a black diagram environment environment this is a graphical programming it's called graphical programming you can combine with matlab script with um, uh, matlab simulink once you crea um, create the matlab script program you can also create this program into subsystem uh, once you uh, once you uh, uh, write the program in matlab script file script file as you can convert it into block this is called a graphical block graphical block you can also combine with textual and graphical programming to design our system in a simulation environment directly use thousand number of algorithms uh, that are already in MATLAB is as pre-built functions. Simply add your MATLAB code into simulink block uh, or state flow chart. You can create state flow chart also there. Use MATLAB to create input data sets to drive simulations. Run thousands of simulations in parallel. Is there um, more advantage uh, by using this MATLAB? And then analyze the analyze and uh, visualize the data in MATLAB also these are you can not only with the test the system you can analyze and uh, visualize the data in your MATLAB here there's a configuration parameter block is there in this block here the important one is solver pan computes a dynamic system the using the solver if you were designed in a continuous manner means you have to select the solver block the GUI block the, uh, you can uh, solve the solve our computer dynamic systems here uh, there are um, four, four options are available your, your design system discrete and continuous and phaser and so many options are available here then code generation block this are code generation block set up general information about code generation and simulation simulating target in the simulating target configure the simulation target for the model that contains matlab function blocks okay. then uh, this is a uh, optimization pan set up optimization for a model activation active configuration set optimizations are set for both simulation and code generation then uh, we start with application area engineering application area first you start with matlab sibling for wireless communications you can uh, design wireless design start with matlab sibling here uh, simulate the impact of rf algorithms and antenna designs on wireless system performance you can create model using digital RF and antenna elements to explore and optimize the system behavior. Here also you can generate customizable waveforms to verify confirmation of conformance to the latest 5G LTE and the wireless LAN standards. In general, the pre-built functions are available pre-built available in toolbox and the latest toolbox, for example, 5G toolbox, 
there LTE tool box the way of analyzer also so many standards are uh, available in MATLAB simulator this is uh, especially for uh, communication system toolbox MATLAB communication system toolbox having this facility wireless communication design facility create reusable reference models for iterative verification of wireless design prototypes and implementations you can automatically generate HTML or C code programming for prototyping and implementation without hand coding. Don't, no need of uh, knowledge to write the MATLAB, MATLAB language. I, know, I don't know MATLAB how to. I don't know MATLAB how to write the MATLAB uh, MATLAB script file. How to write the text, uh, text file? No, don't worry about that. Just by using the MATLAB simply, you can directly drag and drop the um, blocks pre pre-built function blocks depending upon your application for example if you go for wireless communication application mean application means here uh, separate toolbox is available for communication system tool, toolbox for example if you if I go for signal processing uh, design means signal process toolbox is available here for example I want to uh, design one antenna means antenna the antenna toolbox is available here antenna design toolbox available here within the antenna toolbox there are a lot of pre-built functions are available here just you drag and drop the uh, block you can analyze you can design analyze and visualize using your design for example one small example design hardware ready ip at a high level and automatic prototyping and verification these are all the examples available in the particular uh, communication system blocks you can just you go uh, go to math matlab uh, math website just you click, click for documentation here the, in this documentation MATLAB for you just to search in this title MATLAB simulator for wireless communications it shows the one uh, example like this here also some example command also there for example these all are um, how to get this uh, example just keep uh, clicking one one command for example um, uh, this is the IP level high level automatic prototyping for example uh, AD 9371 if you uh, hit the uh, hit the uh, command uh, in command prompt you will get the uh, example like this where this is the automated analysis of large scale field test data and visualize your simulation result after simulation you will get the output like this uh, also not only with this uh, logical analyzer here spectrum analyzer also there once you once you want to uh, analyze your uh, design with the spectrum analyzer logic analyzer so many uh, third party support hardware hardware support packages also there also you can if you have to see in uh, edge length scope and just you go to matlab uh, mathbox website you can add on this third party hardware and software then next area is matlab sibling for power electronics control design we can develop digital controllers nowadays the uh, in research areas the digital controllers are uh, design and development of digital controllers for motors power converters and battery systems also there the power electronics toolbox is available here here uh, power electronics engineers use matlab and simlink to develop digital control systems for motor power converters and battery systems here you can simulate power electronics control system used in electric vehicle renewable energy and industrial automation this is a this is a recent research trends areas in uh, uh, for uh, power electronics engineers you can de design um, electric vehicle you can design hybrid electric vehicle you can uh, de design um, renewable energy sources for example uh, pvra and solar solar system arrays there are a lot of uh, um, pre-built functions are available here using that you can create your own design it's a industrial automation process also there uh, blocks of electrical components help you build system level models for electric motors there are people more number of motors electric motors that is a ac drive and dc drive is available here using that you can create your design power converters and battery storage systems for if you have to uh, for battery management if uh, for electric vehicle the major issue is design of this um, electric electric battery using that batteries um, so, so many algorithm battery management algorithm is the you, you can utilize for example uh, you can implement more number of algorithms algorithms also there in matlab pre-built algorithms are there you can just to add, add add your design you test the algorithm test, test using this algorithm you test your design use simulink for simulating and generating code for supervisory and closed loop control algorithms and reduce project time by 50 percent compared to traditional hand coding and testing on hardware this is a important application by using matlab simulink 
you can uh, reduce the project time once you have to write the program in uh, text manner and this hand coding before you test, uh, test the hardware it is possible just you simulation you, uh, at the time of uh, simulation it, it, it shows error you have to debug all the all the things here we, we use use for matlab simulation without programming knowledge you can do with uh, analyze and design your system generate ansi uh, c and processor optimized c and hdl code for multiple leading microcontrollers fpgas and system on chips uh, yes next this one build and tune motor controller then using this matlab uh, simulation uh, power ultran is control design toolbox we can build and tune motor control algorithms design digital control for power converters uh, fast with simulating and develop battery management system uh, system software with simulating for example if you want to uh, uh, use uh, a tune motor control algorithm use matlab and simulating to build accurate system models from libraries of motors power electronics sensors and loads we can use automated pid tuning to control the inverter power electronics that regulate voltage and frequency then uh, uh, design of digital control for power converters faster with simulating with simulating we can model analog and digital components in the same simulation environment then closed loop simulation of the power stage and controllers lets you evaluate and verify design choices such as voltage mode control or current mode control before implement the controller then uh, next area is battery management here using the simulating to design tune and test to supervisory closed loop and fault detection algorithm you can also run monte carlo experiments on the model to exercise your control algorithms across a complete range of operating conditions and fault scenarios is possible with matlab uh, power electronics toolbox this is a one small example for matlab simulating for uh, power electronics engineer control design using simulating for uh, power electronics control design you can build that uh, tune motor uh, control system and develop the battery management system uh, software for with uh, matlab simulating here this is a uh, you can use automated pid tuning control inverter uh, power electronics that regulates the voltage and frequency this is uh, using the di digital pid controller this is available in control system toolbox uh, you, uh, in simscape electronics in simscape multibody in simscape power systems there are so many uh, toolboxes available here you may just to add add, add, the, add these elements uh, resistor and inductor and voltage sensors by using this uh, simulating blocks you can directly drag and drop in your uh, drag and drop and design this uh, model like this these are uh, battery management systems having pm pmsm drive already there are um, uh, virtual block of this one this is a permanent magnet synchronous machine model machine drives are available here just uh, by using this scope uh, scope block you can see the uh, uh, see your result in scope uh, scopes uh, in the graph format is a control block once you write the program um, uh, for example if you write the program in um, text text editor you can create one subsystem also there even after uh, simulation you uh, you are coded form into yes function form this is one kind of form form is available here here this is a converter block by using this uh, sim uh, uh, function blocks you can create the design for example is a power converter faster with simulating in the um, uh, traditional uh, power converters are slow uh, slow and uh, there are some um, improvements means you can uh, by using the simulating matlab uh, power electronics uh, toolbox you can model at the different level of uh, levels of fidelity that is average model for system dynamics behavioral models for switching characteristic and detailed non linear switching models for parasitics and uh, detailed design also there here uh, again with the develop battery management system uh, software with uh, simulating here you can simulate uh, electronic circuitry and uh, lumped parameters by battery pack models there are so many logics now we are using the balancing logic you can include balancing logic in this uh, battery management system uh, you can simulate electronic circuitry and uh, and lumped battery models tune battery models parameter using test data and capture cell chemistry thermal aging and other non linear characteristics also there so one of the uh, important parameters is state of charge you, you can state observers um, uh, design for state of charge for cell balancing and state of health on online estimation also there you can also run monte carlo analysis experiments on the model to exercise your control algorithms 
across a complete range of operating condition and fault scenarios. You can also by using this um, uh, design you can test test and analyze uh, before you are implementing. You can also adding the logic uh, balancing here uh, in battery management design. Here, here uh, you are including ba balancing logic. Then uh, next area metal and similar for control systems. Here my model plan dynamics and design and tune feedback loops and supervisory controllers. Here control system toolbox is separately available in MATLAB. Control system engineers use MATLAB and Simulink at all stages of development from plant modeling to designing and the tuning control algorithms and supervisory logics. All the way to deployment with automatic code generation and system verification, validation and test is a the area we have to concentrate especially for control system engineers by using this uh, MATLAB and Simulink offer in MATLAB um, control system toolbox pre-built functions and interactive tool for analyzing overshoot, rise time, face margin, gain margin and other performance of and, and the stability characteristic in uh, time and frequency domains not only with single uh, time domain frequency domain uh, characteristic also you can analyze automatic tuning of PID and the gain scheduling and the arbitrary CISO is a single input single output and MIMO control systems you can modeling and design and simulation of supervisory logic for performing scheduling mode switching and fault detection isolation and recovery so like FTIR you can these are all the facilities available in MATLAB and Simulink here one small example for MATLAB for uh, control system engineers. You can deploy descents to embedded code as so that you can so you, uh, already see with a mechanical explorer block. You can import your uh, system model, system design in SolidWorks or ANSI, ANSI software. So there are so many design uh, uh, software as there. CAD model. You can import your CAD model into our MATLAB Simulink. Just you, uh, drag and drop. We can uh, create you are designed to embedded controllers model and simulate that is a plant dynamics use the blocks that reference mechanical electrical magnetic hydraulic pneumatic 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 and the thermal components to map the components topography and physical connections of your systems after verification verifying the control algorithms in closed loop and desktop simulations and deploy them to protection microcontrollers and um, plc's there is a programming logic control and PNC and FPGA by automatically generating C and structured text or HTL code. Next area is signal processing. There is a MATLAB and Simulink for signal processing. Analyze your signal and time series data, model design and simulate signal processing systems. Signal processing engineers uh, use MATLAB and Simulink at all stages of de development from analyzing signals and exploring algorithms to evaluating design implementation trade-offs for uh, building real-time signal, signal processing systems and also the MATLAB and Simulink offers for uh, signal processing applications built-in functions and apps for analysis and the pre-processing of time series data spectral and the time frequency analysis and the signal measurements then apps and algorithms to design analyze and implement digital filters uh, uh, FAR and IAR filter from basic field FAR and IAR filters to adaptive multi rate and multi stage design. For example, by using this um, single processing toolbox, here uh, one more uh, application is there. If you have to design one FAR filter uh, without knowing pro programming knowledge, just you by using a filter designing app in MATLAB, you just you hit the uh, command filter designer, just you enter, it shows one. Uh, and graphical user interface within the second you can design FAR, uh, FAR low pass FAR filter within the second you can uh, see the response it may be face response this may be also you can uh, see the poles and zeros uh, by magnitude property in single uh, single graph these are so many uh, interactive applications also there in uh, say signal processing MATLAB signal processing uh, toolbox. The capabilities, capabilities to model fixed point behavior and automatically generate C, C, C++ or HTL code for deploying on embedded processes and FPGAs and ASIC uh, designs. These are tool, uh, tools for uh, developing predictive models on uh, signals and sensor uh, data using machine learning and deep learning workflows. So, uh, the recent trend is uh, deep learning and machine learning. Here also you can develop them uh, by using this uh, MATLAB Simlink. Uh, signal processing uh, toolbox 
you can uh, develop predictive models on signals and sensor data using um, for, uh, for IoT applications. This is the example for uh, MATLAB simulation for signal processing application. This is a model based uh, design for signal processing. This is an example available in MATLAB uh, signal processing uh, toolbox. You can analyze the signal and measure measure the signals by using a logic analyzer or a spectrum analyzer. More number of scopes are available here. When designing a signal processing system, we can use a combination of combination blocks, uh, diagrams, and language-based programming also there. We can use Simlink to apply model-based design to signal processing systems for modeling, simulation, early verification, and code generation also there. We can visualize live signals also there. For example, if you go for IoT applications, the sensor giving the inputs in the form of uh, video, in the form of uh, data, we can also visualize uh, live signals. Live signals during simulation also is possible with using virtual scopes. Virtual, uh, virtual uh, scopes are available here, including spectrum and logic analyzer and constellation diagram, IE diagram, you can see. Then uh, the coder, the code generation project block, embedded code generation block. We can automatically generate C and C++ code from signal processing algorithms and uh, bit accurate systems model using MATLAB coder and Simlink coder. The generated code can be used for simulation acceleration and rapid prototyping and uh, embedded impl implementation of your system. You can also generate optimized um, C code for targeting embedded hardware processor for, for advanced processor such as ARM, Cortex. Cortex A or Cortex M. Okay, you can uh, also generate portable, synthesizable Verilog and VHDL code from MATLAB functions and Simlink models. Uh, with a fraction of a second, you can generate VHDL and Verilog code from your Simlink uh, design. The generated HDL code can be used for APG programming or ASIC design. Next area, the MATLAB and Simlink for uh, robotics. Convert your robotics ideas and concepts into autonomous systems that work uh, seamlessly in real world environment. Robotics researchers and engineers use MATLAB and Simlink to design and tune, tune algorithm, model real world systems and automatically generate code all from one software environment. With MATLAB and Simlink uh, for robotic engineers, develop controllers for using blocks for ground vehicles, manipulators, ROI success, that is a robotic operating system or access and correcting and analyzing sensor data. If you are familiar with robotic studio software, you can design robotic studio template design, you can import, import to MATLAB. Simlink just to analyze and deploy, the, deploy your design to concern robot or concerned device you can implement or deploy uh, deploy your uh, design control your robot with the algorithms you develop and automatically generate code that you can run on hardware then eliminate hand coding hand coding uh, elimination is the most important application of matlab simulate eliminate hand coding by automatically generate uh, generating code for embedded targets like controller microcontroller fpgas plcs and the gpus in many languages such as c c++ vhdl verilog and structured text and cuda Connect to low cost hardware such as Arduino and Raspberry Pi using pre built hardware support packages. By using hardware support, Arduino hardware support packages, you can interface Arduino software also, you can interface Raspberry Pi software. Then, MATLAB, this is an example for MATLAB and Simlink for robotics. You can, by using this robotics toolbox, work with legacy code and integrate with existing robotic systems. As a, this is an example for design and analysis, 3D rigid body mechanics. This is a, uh, design is developed from a developer in MATLAB also by using this robotic toolbox. Also some virtual reality applications also uh, possible um, in MATLAB. Mat Mat virtual and uh, augmented reality applications also possible with MATLAB. So we can connect to sensors through um, uh, Robot operating systems, specific sensors such as cameras, lidar, and IMUs have have ROS messages that can be converted into MATLAB data types. ROS, if you generate ROS messages, you can can convert it into MATLAB data types for analysis and visualization. You can also import import the import your data in the form of ROS message. You can easily convert. And then you can work with directly with the existing CAT file by importing URDF files. It's a CAT file. Just, um, 
same in the form of your df files you can also import cat files directly into simulink or cat software like solidworks sir solidworks and on chef these are all the uh, uh, mechanical engineer uh, software services uh, cat care tools this is a solidworks and on chef you can once you create the uh, model in uh, uh, such software solidworks and on chef directly you can import and test your uh, design test uh, analyze and deploy your design by using this matlab simulink then develop hardware uh, diagnostic, diagnostic algorithm and connect the robotic operating system both ROS operating system and ROS 2 operating system uh, next uh, area is MATLAB and Simulink for automated driving systems it's automotive engineers use MATLAB and Simulink to design automated uh, driving system functionality including sensing, path uh, planning and sensor fusion and controls then by using this uh, toolbox MATLAB Simulink model and simulate the vehicle uh, and um, uh, environment and perform sensor fusions and controls development using MATLAB with MATLAB and Simulink you can develop perception systems using pre-built algorithms, sensor models and apps for the separate functions not only with functions available in Simulink apps are also, also available with apps means graphical user interface just to open uh, hit the command for example for uh, as my filter designer just to enter it, it opens one uh, uh, graphical user interface based on that you can design any number of uh, models automatically you uh, by using this model once you create the model you can generate matlab code also there this is called the uh, apps is available in um, all type of toolbox uh, um, toolbox for computer vision radar and radar processing and sensor fusion by using this automated toolbox automated driving system toolbox design control system and model vehicle dynamics in a 3d environment using fully assembled reference applications then test and verify systems by authoring and driving scenarios using synthetic uh, sensor models. Then we can plan driving paths. These are uh, virtual, virtual and augmented reality coming to the pictures. Plan driving paths by designing and using uh, vehicle cost maps and motion planning algorithms. Automatically generate C code for rapid prototyping or hardware in loop. That is a uh, HAL testing using code generation products nowadays where um, before you go to the hardware HAL testing is important on hardware inline, inline loop hardware inline loop means you are uh, uh, test your uh, uh, design with real time real time target this is another name is called the SIL it is a software inline loop it is not interact with uh, hardware this is one of the application MATLAB and Simulink for automatic driving systems this is a vision, vision camera by using vision camera you can automatically uh, object detect and direction and text detection what is a number uh, number plate car um, um, uh, moving car number plate moving car uh, what is uh, uh, by using sensor data um, by using cameras there are so, so many uh, so many interface devices for example um, before crossing vehicle uh, um, uh, license number plate also you can predict uh, MATLAB provides pre-built algorithms and sensor models for computer vision, radar processing, radar and sensor processing. And then perform sensor fusion using a library of tracking and uh, data association techniques including point and extended object trackers. Using the ground truth lab labeling app in this uh, automatic driving system toolbox having the one uh, special app uh, name ground truth labeling, labeling app by using this app test perception uh, system performance by uh, comparing ground truth uh, data against algorithm outputs this is a uh, one small example for simulate measurements from IMU GPU GPS sensors and design fusions and localization algorithm to estimate vehicle position and orientations and by using uh, deep learning and machine learning to develop algorithms for pedestrian detection land detection and the drivable path estimation these are all now uh, uh, recent projects developed by uh, researchers for example by pedestrian uh, detection land detection and driver path estimations there are the applications in computer vision engineers yeah, next area is image processing uh, and computer vision matlab for uh, simply matlab simply for image processing and computer vision using the you can incorporate vision into robotics ads controls and other multi-domain system use matlab and uh, simlink to gain insight into your image and video data and uh, by using this uh, develop algorithms and explore implementation trade-offs 
um, uh, model and simulate hardware implementation with the test benches using frame to pixel stream conversion and vision algorithm design for FPGA and ASICs. Using this MATLAB Simlink, you can design vision and solution with a comprehensive set of reference standard algorithms for image processing, computer vision, and deep learning. Then co collaborate with teams using OpenCV, Python. Also, you can use Python. You call the uh, Python library is also available in MATLAB. Once you uh, write the program in my Python, you can call the uh, MATLAB function. You can call the uh, Python file into MATLAB Simlink. And C, C++ uh, using integral uh, APIs and integration tools. You can accelerate um, uh, algorithms on NVIDIA GPUs, cloud and uh, data center resources without specialized programming or IT knowledge. You can uh, accelerate the uh, algorithms. Deploy algorithms to embedded devices including NVIDIA GPUs and Intel processors and APG and ARM based emb embedded processors. These are the important uh, applications in MATLAB Simlink, especially for image processing and computation areas. Here, uh, this is a um, uh, MATLAB and Simulink how to work together with the real time scenario. Here, um, model and simulate uh, hardware using a frame to pixel stream designed for FPGAs and ASICs. These are uh, real time implementation. Use MATLAB and Simulink to gain insight into our image and uh, live, live video data, develop algorithms, and explore implementation trade offs. Vision, vision solutions with a comprehensive set of uh, reference standard algorithms for uh, image processing, computer vision, and uh, deep learning. Here you deploy your algorithms to embedded devices, including all type of special uh, embedded processes. There is a NVIDIA GPUs, Intel projects, processors, APG, and ARM based embedded processor you can implement. And uh, the recent trend in the 2050, 2020 to 2050, the digital twins technology is more important. This is also available in our MATLAB Simulink. Digital twins with MATLAB and Simulink. Use MATLAB Simulink to create digital twins models of a component, a system of components, or a system of uh, systems such as pumps, engines, power plants, manufacturing lines, or a fleet of vehicles. With MATLAB, we can define a model using data from, from your connect, connector asset and we can also use Simlink to create a physics based model and multi domain modeling tools and we can use this uh, digital twins for predictions, what if simulations and anomaly detections, fault isolation and more. Both data driven and phys physics based model can be tuned with data from the operating asset to act as a digital twin. Then uh, the data driven models available with MATLAB include machine learning, deep learning, neural networks and system identification. This is a digital twin technology also available in MATLAB assembly. Now we are power vehicle powertrain by using this digital twin where we can build a digital twin of a vehicle powertrain with MATLAB and assembly. Uh, this is a, a one uh, application for a digital twin. The, through the optimization methods, we can tune digital twin models and keep them up to date using standard protocols like MQTT, MQTT protocol for incoming streams of data. These are especially for uh, IoT applications. In IoT applications, there are more um, uh, softwares are available here. But uh, now we are, we are using uh, this IoT application with MATLAB Simlink with this uh, digital twin technology, this one. Uh, integrate on commercially available systems. You can also uh, interface with Azure and I Azure IoT Hub and uh, Amazon Web Services that is called AWS IoT or implement custom integration as needed through APIs and other common integration methods such as uh, shared libraries and restful, restful calls. Here by using this uh, digital twins and uh, incorporated with the vehicle powertrain, it receives measured data from grid for parameter estimation then runs thousands of simulation parallelly uh, scenarios to determine if the energy uh, reserve is sufficient and whether uh, grid controllers need adjustment. Here all are uh, um, simulated within uh, real time environment, especially for uh, IoT applications. Here another exam, um, uh, example for um, interface. Um, um, building a digital twin of vehicle power drain with MATLAB Simulink with Amazon Web Service platform. This is where connected cars are. This is their endpoint. This is where the web application part and this is a platform and these are applications 
with MATLAB. You can analyze and data, predicted data, all the things with MATLAB simulation. This is a language of technical computing simulation of model based design by using the, the application area we are using. MATLAB integrate on commercially available systems on AWS uh, IoT or implement custom integration as needed through APIs and common uh, integration methods such as shared library and useful calls. This is your uh, endpoint gateway. This is a gateway means your application, web application, your develop web application. Our platform is MATLAB distributed uh, computer server for especially for IoT applications. This is how to open a lot of vendors are available here. These are application uh, part. These are uh, data ingest and uh, data ingest. These are data access in this part. These are uh, now um, engineering applications in various various areas by using MATLAB and uh, Simlink. Not only with uh, engineering, non-engineering applications also there. For example, mathematical modeling also there. In next uh, videos we are discuss about non-engineering also. For example. Uh, Metla for bio engineers this video is coming so support my channel subscribe my channel if you are in your new user support my channel subscribe my channel like like and shares just to share your comments in comment box thank you thank you very much